ESC 2009 will be remembered for a new antiplatelet agent, Ticagrelor, that took some important first steps in a large study, the PLATO trial. PLATO is a direct comparison of Ticagrelor with clopidogrel in more than 18,000 patients admitted for an acute coronary syndrome. After 6 to 12 months of treatment, the rate of cardiovascular events was 9.8% in the Ticagrelor group compared with 11.7% with clopidogrel a significant difference that was observed without an increase of major bleeding. Lars Wallentin presented the results during ESC 2009 simultaneously with publication in the New England Journal of Medicine. We now have a new treatment that reduces cardiovascular mortality and myocardial infarction and stent thrombosis and it comes without an increase in major bleeding. So this is definitely a new and better alternative for a very broad population with acute coronary syndromes. The current OASIS-7 trial might set up a new standard for the use of clopidogrel in patients with an acute coronary syndrome. This very large study compared double versus standard doses of clopidogrel in 25,000 patients and the factorial design tested at the same time high versus low dose aspirin. Shamir Mehta presented the results in Barcelona. The overall results uh, demonstrated that in the PCI population there was a reduction of about 15 percent which was significant uh, in CV death MI stroke in those, uh, with double dose clopidogrel. In the patients not undergoing PCI it was a neutral effect and overall there was a non-significant 5 percent difference. However, in the PCI group, which was really the, mo the, the main focus of this uh, trial, there was a large reduction in stent thrombosis, a 42% reduction in stent thrombosis, there was a 22% reduction in myocardial infarction, and there was a 20% reduction in combined myocardial infarction and stroke. And regarding aspirin, there was no difference between high versus low dose in either efficacy or safety. Using a thionopyridine concomitantly with a proton pump inhibitor is controversial and in Barcelona Michelle O'Donoghue reported new data on this combination on behalf of the Triton Timmy 38 group. Out of 13,608 patients with acute coronary syndromes receiving either clopidogrel or prasugrel, they identified 4,529 33% of the total, who were on a PPI at the same time. The good news was that there was no difference in the primary endpoint of cardiovascular death, myocardial infarction or stroke between patients receiving a proton pump inhibitor and those who were not.